Hello, this is Jerry Anderson, Assistive Technology Coordinator for Utica Community Schools. I'm here today to tell you how you are going to register or request classes for the next school year. The first thing you are going to want to do is log on to your computer and go to either class link, as you can see the UCS homepage is on your class link page, or you can simply type in Utica K12 and that will take you to the Utica homepage as well. Regardless which way you go, you will end up on this page. And underneath the picture is three different links. One saying parents, one students, one success toolkit. You're going to want to select students and secondary links. One of those secondary links is PowerSchool. And then it asks for either a parent sign in or a student sign in. And so you're going to select student sign in and I am going to be using Utica High School. And because this is a unified classroom, you need to sign in with your computer login, but it needs to be your entire school email. So it needs to continue with the at stu.uticak12.org. And again, because this is the unified classroom, it is going to be the ITS number plus your four digits, plus a zero that we've added on the end of that. That makes it, instead of a seven digit password, an eight digit password. So again, your entire school email and your ITS number followed by a zero. And you're gonna go ahead and sign in. And when you sign in, you will see on the left hand side, some different links and choices. And one of those says class registration. You are going to select class registration and you will get a welcome message. Please pay attention to the welcome message and make sure that you are in the proper school. Obviously this says welcome to the Utica High School class registration system for 2022-2023. Should also have your name in there. And then it will give you the directions where it says you need to choose classes to total six credits for your senior year in this case. You must also choose at least three credits of alternates. You may end up with one or more of these alternates in your schedule. So choose courses you would like and that you have not already earned credit in. By submitting your schedule, you are committing to the choices you entered in each section below. You must keep these for the 2022-2023 school year and may not drop AP courses in the fall or for second semester. So you'll definitely want to take some time and think about what courses you want to request for next year. Now this will be customized per grade level. So again, this is a student at Utica going into her senior year. Your choices may be different. Your screen may display a little differently. But what you're going to end up doing is selecting the pencil. And when you select the pencil, it will ask you which one you may want. Do you want CSI, MST, A, or B? And it says you may select up to two courses. One of these is first semester. One of these is second semester. And so you would go through and, and select the pencils that pertain to you and make sure when you finish that you get the required six credit hours as well as they had mentioned three additional credit hours or alternatives. You can view your course requests to see what you've already requested at any time. You can go to the course catalog. So here's the course name and the course number. Once you have completed all of your course requests, 
you need to make sure that you submit this request. A counselor will be reviewing your requests with you to make sure that you have done it properly and that you are in the appropriate courses to meet the graduation requirements that were discussed in the other video.